Hi everyone, I'm Antonio, physical health and wellness coach at Wounded Warrior Project. In this video, we're gonna be going over movements you can do with your foam roller as either a warm up or part of your cool down. All right, so we're gonna begin by rolling out the upper back. Uh, we're gonna start at the base of the neck and roll down to the bottom of your shoulder blades. Uh, you wanna take it nice and slow. Uh, again, moving to the bottom of your shoulder blades and to the very top of your shoulder blades. You don't really wanna lay on your neck at all. Just take your time, remember to breathe. All right, so now we're gonna bring it down to our glutes. I'm gonna stay on my right glute here, leaning to the side. I have my left leg planted on the ground, my right leg over my left. If you can't get your leg up here, you could also put your ankle across your shin. Nice and slow, up and down on the glute. So from your lower back, right to where like your hamstring starts. Nice, slow control, we'll switch legs. And so just the opposite here. So left leg is crossed over the right. And again, if you need to put your ankle across your shin, that works too. Leaning really nice and tight on that left glute, going up and over from the lower back to right to where the hamstring starts. Remember to breathe, rocking nice and slow. If you feel a knot, that's okay. Okay, so we're moving down to the hamstrings. We're gonna do one leg at a time. So right where we left off on the glute, right at the top of that hamstring will start and roll down right to the right behind the knee. Again, nice, slow and controlled. Remembering to breathe, going the full length of that muscle, all the way up and all the way back down. Excellent. Let's switch legs. And now we're gonna go same thing. So right to the bottom of the glute, to the back of the knee, the full length of those hamstrings. And if you feel those knots, hey, take a second, roll that knot out and then continue rolling the full length of your muscles. Don't forget to breathe, slow and controlled. So now moving down the chain to our calves, so just like our hamstrings, we're starting at the top of the calf, behind the knee, down to the bottom of the calf. You wanna get as close to your ankle as possible. If you need to adjust, take the time to do so. And remember to breathe. Okay, we'll switch legs. And go to the opposite side from the bottom of the calf all the way up to the top, right behind the knee. And you're not directly behind the knee, you're just at the top of that muscle. And practice pointing your toes in and out. Again, remembering to breathe, slow and controlled movements. So here, we're gonna to come to our side. I'm gonna start on my lats, extend your arm out, and it's a very small movement. Now, big thing here is rotating that top shoulder back just a little bit to get those lats. If it hurts, you're probably in the right spot. If it doesn't hurt, you're probably not in the right spot. You're going just from your armpit, down about six inches, and back up. And we'll switch sides. Same thing here. Pulling that shoulder back, extending my bottom arm out. Nice, slow, and controlled. This doesn't always feel the greatest, but it does work wonders in getting those knots out of those big lat muscles from the armpit and down. You're using your legs to push and we'll flip it now down to our IT band, starting at the top of the hip and down to just above the knee. On this one here, you don't wanna put pressure on the knee itself. We're rolling out the muscles, not the joints. Again, slow and control all the way up, all the way down, getting the belly of those, that IT band, this again doesn't feel great, but it does work. And switching sides. And the more you do it, you get used to it. So same thing on the opposite side here, all the way up, all the way back down. Remembering to breathe, take it slow, feel for those knots. Take your time, all the way up, and all the way back down, working that IT band. Excellent. Okay, so now we're gonna to move to the front. We're gonna get our quads, starting at the top of the knee, 
all the way up to the hip. When you're going to your hip, you want to get right in that pocket of the hip, right where your hip flexors are, and then just to the top of the knee, not on the knee itself. Slow and controlled. Remember to breathe. Now when we switch sides here, you're going to see the opposite leg that's not on the foam roller is out at about 45 degrees. That leg is not moving. Right leg stays straight all the way down to the knee, all the way back up to the hip. Taking your time and focus. Breathing through each movement. Find those knots. And excellent. Hips down to the top of the knee. And that's it. Thank you again for watching this video on foam rolling.